smoke tester, DIY smoke tester, so I am going to do it as well. Uh, this is from my outboard um, tube. So I got this uh, actual tube, 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, and then this is just a regular jar. Um, and then um, I have the pen, and then I'm going to use my uh, hand pump. Somebody used a bicycle pump. This is a bicycle pump, but this is just a hand pump. So I'm going to use the hand pump. And also I'm going to use the socks, put the socks in there and the baby oil or the um, mineral, mineral oil, baby oil, you know, maybe even cooking oil. And then I'm going to use this, um, um, what do you call this? This is the um, solder, iron solder. So there's my uh, thing. And here is the... Uh, Cutter, so I'm gonna take a picture of the components that I use to make this uh, smoke detector to try to detect a leak. It's an EVAP leak, um, emission uh, uh, evaporative uh, emission system uh, leak uh, in my uh, 2001 Pathfinder. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm gonna drill a couple holes here. And then uh, I'm going to put this down um, in the middle, just like that. Maybe too deep, you know, but hopefully it's not, you know. So there you have it. That's uh, the project here. So we're gonna... Okay. Looks like I need to fix this in place. Otherwise, it's going to run away. Oh, I need to drill a pilot hole. There's your pilot hole. Yeah, I can use this to make it bigger, I guess. But uh, let's use this. You know, use this. Huh. Okay, that's gonna make it big. And uh, as long as I can stick this thing through, and then I'm okay. So I'm gonna try to. Uh, do I need to use this? I'm gonna try to take it somewhere else to be able to do it. Because I need some kind of support like this. <sighs> yeah, I think that's plenty. Okay, see, now I can uh, push this through like that, you know, push it through like that, okay, well, just 
push it through like that. I think I may need to remove these three. So that I have a better, um, better mating surface. Mm. Anyway, so that's, and then I'm going to drill one hole for the pump, okay, and one hole for the air to come out. This may be for the air to come out, so, cut this. And then have this going in like this. So I'm going to drill a hole. That's a hole. I'm going to drill another hole over here on this side. Here we go. So those are two holes that I need, and I'm using this to enlarge it. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a perfect match. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remove this. Then I'm going to try to cut it. Okay. So I'm gonna make this hole bigger. And where is the other hole? I'm gonna make the other hole bigger as well. Just a tiny little bit bigger.
Okay. Okay, see that? That's perfectly matching, and this is also matching. So, there you have it. I'm gonna use the epoxy to to uh, glue those two down. And I'm also going to glue this um, down as well. And then there's my smoker. detector for my evac machine so there you have it okay okay I got, I got the epoxy here the two p the two part two piece I'm gonna mix it okay that's probably too much but it's okay This is my stir. This is my stir. Takes 24 hours for the epoxy to stick, for the two parts of epoxy to stick, so you gotta be very patient with this thing. So we're just gonna try to have this thing sit like this and then wait until it's dry for 24 hours and then I can start uh, putting the socks uh, with the baby oil and then uh, be able to do my smoke test. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'm just gonna wait. Now it's more of a wait. Setting it uh, here to wait for the epoxy to dry.